Hello and welcome to my WP Auto Blog review. And in this review, I'm going to take you inside the software and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So this is a really cool software and it connects to your WordPress websites. You can connect unlimited WordPress websites with this and you can schedule out posts and it will automatically post using AI. What I really like about this is that in all of the A, the automatic auto blog that uses like ChatGPT and AI, all of the ones that I've seen and used, all of them require your OpenAI API. And when you give them your OpenAI API, you're also getting charged for every article that's being written because it's using your API. Now, the cool thing about WP Autoblog is that it doesn't use an open AI API. It uses their own AI system. So you don't have to connect anything to it other than your WordPress. And you're not having to pay anything for each individual article that's shown. Now, be sure to stay with me until the end because I'm going to go over the pricing. There's a very special lifetime deal that they have going on right now. I'm going to show you all about that. So just please make sure that you stay till the end because this is something that you really don't want to miss. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you now exactly what this is all about. So this is my dashboard. And inside the dashboard, it shows me how many articles have been posted, how many articles are scheduled, and how many articles are currently processing. Now, when you schedule your posts, you can schedule them for any time you want. You can schedule one a day, two a day. You can schedule them every so many hours. They do offer a free plan. However, with the free plan, you cannot do the uh, auto scheduling. It will not auto schedule for you. So uh, you have to get a paid plan with that. So let me show you kind of uh, what this all entails here. So I have one website that is uh, connected to this and this is a barbecue website that I have and basically it has a lot of built-in features to it and one of them is keyword research and you can come in and you can put in your keyword here so um, we'll do uh, barbecue steaks and we'll just do some keyword research here and you can use these keywords as your um, articles so as we can see, and it shows you the competition here, cost you the cost per click for ads. And you can add them to your shortlist here. If you click on shortlist, and you can add them to your shortlist and you can create the articles straight from what's on your shortlist. So that's really, really cool. So, you know, you can see a lot of keywords here has been given and you can see the competition with these keywords. You can see how many searches per month they have and you can make articles straight from this. And uh, another one is the uh, cluster, topic cluster. And we'll try this out and you can see how this works. And we'll search for the same term, barbecue steaks. And uh, we can do, uh, just create articles from this. Barbecue steaks, grilling techniques, marinades for steaks. It will create titles for these. These are just keywords. It's just going to create really compelling titles. It's going to create SEO optimized content. And the articles are well over 2,000 words long. And I'm going to show you that here in just a second. So um, I'm going to go back to dashboard here. And I um, let me show you how easy it is to connect the website. So we're going to go to websites here. And this is a website that I have. And as you can see, it's connected. It's a WordPress website. And you can add as many websites as you want. So you would just come over here to add website. And this is really, really easy to do. You just click the connect. You put in your WordPress admin URL, which is your uh, domain slash WP dash admin. Hit connect. It's going to come in and make you log into your WP admin. It's 100% safe. And it's going to come in and automatically create an application for you inside your, your uh, WordPress dashboard. You approve the application, and once you approve, approve the application, it's connected. So it's automatically connected for you. You don't have to do anything else. So next, what you want to do is go to your post scheduler. Now, this is where all the magic happens. This is where all your keywords are. So each keyword, each line in your keyword here is going to be a separate article. 
So if you have 30 keywords, it's going to create 30 articles for you. You can even put in titles. So a tool I like to use for this is to get for the titles is keywords people use. And what you can do is you can put uh, your keyword in here. And this is a completely free to use. There are paid plans if you want to use this extensively, but I don't. I, I just get a free plan with this. And we'll just put barbecue steaks in here. And uh, what you want to click on is uh, people also ask. It's already clicked on. So this will take from Google and this will take active searches from Google what people are asking on Google and they're all in forms of questions. And we'll click search and it's going to go ahead and do its little thing. It's going to go ahead and search Google and go through, go through Google's um, people also ask stuff. So this is going to take just a little a few seconds to do. Okay, and here are the results. Now, once again, you don't need a paid plan for this. You, this is 100% free. And uh, I'll also drop the link for this down in the description as well. So as you can see, here are all of the questions that it come up with. Uh, what I like to do anyway is just go to data, the data tab up here, and this is what it does. And what I would do is just copy them and go back to your WP Auto blog and you will just paste it in. And each line is its own, each line here is its own article. So I wish there was a way that it's set up here at the top that you have how many lines in here. There are tools out there that you can get how many lines uh, or just count them yourself if you want. And then, uh, so we got some uh, some really good uh, articles here that are going to come out. And these are what people searching on Google. This is the stuff Google loves to see. And uh, you can set the language. Look at all the languages that are that are in here. So pause this video if you're looking for a specific language that you want to know if it's available. Um, here are all the languages you can see there. Uh, this is our schedule. The, this is the really cool part. You can schedule it immediately. You can have all these things just blast out at once, or you can do them in um, as a schedule. And if you click on immediately here, and you can do all kinds of uh cool stuff. One every hour, one every two hours, one every three hours, six hours, 12 hours, one day, two days, three days, four days, every week, every two weeks, or every four weeks. So there's no custom in there. I wish there was, but um, I usually do just every day anyway, just one a day. And uh, to your website, so you would select your website here. This is the only website I have connected right now. And then it'll show your, it'll fetch your categories from the website. And it will list all your categories here. And you can just select your categories, the category that you want to put it in, and we'll put it in that category. All of these up here will put in the same category. And um, you can include all of this stuff. You can include uh, images, a second image. Now, the featured image and the second image, if you do want to do that, uh, the featured image is automatically going to put on there for you. But if you do want a second image, you, it will put that on there. And it takes from... Uh, places like Unsplash, um, Flickr, some uh, stock images is what it's going to take. So there's nothing that's copyrighted that's going to um, be on there. It's going to give you DMCA's or anything like that. So uh, these are all stock images. So it's going to put tables in there if you want. It's going to put FAQs if you want. It's going to put key takeaways if you want. It's going to find a relative video on YouTube and put it in there, and it's going to do internal links for you. This is amazing that it does the internal links. Now, your style, you have an a option of your style, which is default or include anecdotes, editorial, uh, deep and complex, argumentative, casual and friendly, simple and vivid, and humanized. I always like to uh, just keep it on default, but you can play around with it and see which one is best for you. Now, there is a ghost mode here that is undetectable AI. And if you use this, it'll make the text pass AI detectors, but it will also lower the quality and remove subtitles. So I don't check this. I just leave it as is because um, I, in my own opinion, AI uh, detectors are only out there to steal your money. Google doesn't care who writes it. If you write it or an AI writes it, only thing that Google cares about is if it's helpful content. This stuff that's being put out by uh, WP Auto Blog is definitely helpful content, and it's SEO optimized. So I don't use Google, go, or I don't use Ghost Mode for that. Now, there's some advanced settings in here: is disable image upload, 
I do leave that blank because I did uh, experiment with that. And when I put disable image upload, I couldn't see any of the images in my article. So um, basically the, all the images are going to download onto your um, website in the medium folder. An additional link to place the article, to place in the article. So if you want additional links, say you want um, some kind of affiliate links or links to another website or some d decent internal links, you can put those in there. Uh, you can put one additional link and you can put the word to link here. Link will only be placed when the word exists in the article. So use something related to the topic. And then there's additional keywords that you can put as well. And then you'll just hit create articles and it's going to add it over here to your queue. Now, if you see up here at the top, it shows you how many articles you can use per month. I currently have a plan to where I can use 150 articles a month. Once you schedule them, it's going to take off of that. So as soon as you schedule it, it's going to take all of those off, whether it's been published or not. But if you do cancel it, so watch, I'll cancel this one. If you do cancel it, it will show... 42. So let me refresh this. Or 40. I'm sorry, 40. It'll show 40 because I've used 40 instead of 41. So um, just keep that in mind when you schedule. Don't schedule more than what your plan can. Don't schedule more at once than what your plan can handle. So let's go ahead and look at the pricing here. WP Auto Blog is on. Um, they do have a pricing on their web page, but don't look at that right now. Look at the link that I'm going to. Uh, send to you down below in the description. So let me show you the lifetime deals that they have here. So this is, uh, let me go back to one code. So they're, they're in different tiers. They're $39 per code. So let me go ahead and show you what each tier. So the one plan is $39. That's the one code. It shows all features above, 25 articles a month, unlimited websites are connected, 500 keyword searches per month, they're SEO optimized. They have 35 supported languages. They're all 2,000 word articles long. They're real stock photos. They're smart auto linking. You can download in a doc file export, which you can export into Microsoft Office or you can export it in, into Google Docs. And it, you can do the custom writing styles that I showed you. Each um, code, if you stack the codes, they up your articles a month. They don't change anything else, but they just up your articles a month. See, the one code is 25 articles a month. The two codes are 50 articles a month. Three codes are 150 articles a month. And you could stack them all the way up to six codes, which are 500 articles a month. Now, they can't stack more than six codes. However, if for some reason you're doing this for clients or you just have a large number of websites that you want to do this with, you can get more than 500 articles a month. You'll just have to create several accounts. So you can do that as well. Um, let me show you real quick here. One thing I forgot to show you here is the uh, website that I have. So let me scroll down and show you this kind of stuff that it did post. So this posted, uh, let's see, it probably posted today, but it doesn't tell me the time that it posted, how to cook a one-inch steak on a barb, how to kick, cook a one-inch steak on the barbecue. So if I go to my website here, uh, how to cook a one-inch steak on the barbecue, uh, posted on March 17th. That was today. So I'm going to show you the kind of quality that it does have. And as you can see, the uh, picture here, um, they're cooking on a uh, stovetop. They're not cooking on the grill. So you might want to look at your uh, pictures after they uh, post, and you might want to change it up a little bit. It may need to be changed up, but... Um, I like to use Midjourney for my images. Uh, so you can always change the images later if you want. Uh, it has, I do a table of contents. This is not the uh, WP Auto blog. This is a um, plugin that does this, this table of contents. And then uh, here is the intro here and key takeaways. And here are your key takeaways here that it adds. And here is all of your uh, content. Uh, this is an H2, preparing the grill. And there's three paragraphs underneath that. There's another H2 with a couple paragraphs. There's another H2 with a couple paragraphs. Now, I've seen other 
other programs that um, auto blog struggle with that. They're only doing like one one uh, paragraph per uh, H2. I don't like that. I like to have a lot of content in here, but this does a lot of content. And it's it's got another uh, uh, image in there. And there's three paragraphs under that and cooking the steak. And it's got um, um, instructions on how to cook your steak. It's got six instructions, uh, flipping the steak, um, checking for doneness. As you can see, it's got a lot of content in here. And we're not even got down to the bottom. Summing up the art. And here's the FAQs. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six FAQs in here. And FAQs are great for ranking on Google. Google loves to see that kind of stuff in the um, articles. And something that I didn't do that I probably should have done was put a YouTube video in there. So I might go back and uh, into my next uh, batch of articles and do the uh, Google video or YouTube videos. So I hope you found this video helpful to you. If you're looking for a quality w a quality auto blogging that uses AI to auto blog, but you don't want to use your Open AI key and incur other charges for every article that's being written, use this WP Auto Blog. Get it now before the lifetime deal ends. I don't know how long that's going to last. It may last another week. It may last another month. May last a couple months. It may only last another day or two. Get it now if you're interested in it. Links down below in the description. 